Welcome back to Sports Showtime. I'm now joined in the forum by two of Sports Showtime's finest, Carter, the Power Brian, and Jeff Steeman Crowden. Welcome to the show, guys. Oh, it's great to be here, Brian. All right, another week has gone by in the college basketball season. LSU thoroughly de defeated two SEC opponents. Now, 19-4 and four overall record. Carter, tell me, shouldn't we be getting some more national recognition than this? Man, Brian, hold on just a second. LSU basketball is rightfully not ranked in this week's AP poll, and let me tell you why. They haven't beat anybody yet. Now, if they get a win on the road versus those Mississippi State Bulldogs on Wednesday and then split with Florida and Kentucky at the, at the end of the year, yes, they'll be considered one of the best 25 teams in America. But anyway, these rankings don't even matter, people. If we take care of business, win the SEC West, and win at least one game in the SEC tourney, we'll be dancing for sure in March. Jeff, I love dancing. I don't know about you, buddy. Carter, I usually agree with you when it comes to basketball. But I just can't agree with you on this one. You know, I know that their schedule is not stacked with top 25 opponents, and they did lose a close game to 14 great Xavier. But the LSU is 19 and 4 and 7 and 1 in SEC play. Now, many may say it's a down year for the SEC. They've beaten the teams in front of them quite handily, if I may say so. They've avenged their only SEC loss on Sunday by beating Bama by 14 points. This team deserves to be ranked in the top 25. I think that this will just motivate them to prove all those voters wrong. All right, guys, let's leave basketball on the mainland for a little bit and travel 4,000 miles to the west in Honolulu where the, Pro, where the Pro Bowl was played. Now, NFL officials are talking about moving the Pro Bowl next year to Miami and Dolphin Stadium and moving it the week before the Super Bowl. Jeff, good move or bad move? Well, Brian, I'm a little bit on the fence on this one, um, on this topic, because I agree with moving – I don't agree with moving the game a week before the Super Bowl because you don't want to take away from the excitement that the Super Bowl – that surrounds the Super Bowl and all the hype that comes with it. But I wouldn't mind if the game was not played in Hawaii. I know it's a tradition to play the game in Hawaii, but not having the game on the mainlands, I think that if you have it in Miami, it will gener generate a little bit more excitement for an all-star game that already lacks the excitement that other sports like baseball and basketball has. Jeff, I know the game needs a lot more excitement. But come on, I love the relaxed nature of this game. There's no doubt about it. The Pro Bowl, if it's moved to Miami, it takes away from the experience for their players and their families. Also, if the rule was in place this year, the game's MVP, Larry Fitzgerald, wouldn't have played because he would have had a Super Bowl to worry about. All players should have the opportunity to play in an all-star game they are selected to. So I strongly believe the game should stay the week after the Super Bowl. Brian, we all love $45,000 bonuses. And I love to watch Larry Fitzgerald in the Pro Bowl with that Hail Mary catch. All right, now moving from a change of venues to a change of perception. Yesterday, Alex, Rodrig Alex Rodriguez confessed in an interview with Peter Gammons that he did use performance-enhancing drugs. Now, two questions for you guys. Number one, does it change your perception of, of A-Rod? And number two, if you had a vote for the Hall of Fame, would you vote him in? Brian, let me lead this off. Of course my mind changes towards pro athletes that use PEDs, but A-Rod is a special case. People, he came out of admitted it. Give him credit. Give him credit for doing this. Bonds, Clemens, and company might go to prison for choosing this never-ending path to doom. But even though they cheated, I believe they should still be in the Hall of Fame. Think about it. If you leave A-Rod, Clemens, Bonds, Sosa, Big Mac McGuire, and Palmero out of the mix, you're leaving out the best power pitcher and hitters the game has ever seen. Yet one thing that needs to happen is that it should shine more light on clean future Hall of Fame players such as Griffey, Big Herb Thomas, Manny and Kenny Ramirez, and of course everyone's favorite, Derek Jeter, Jeff. Come on now, you know these guys are clean. I don't know. I mean, those are great points you made, but who's to say that those players are clean? Maybe they're in the 104 anonymous players, just like Erod. Here's my thoughts on baseball, on steroids and baseball. It has no place in the game. But Major League Baseball let this happen in their sport and profited off players like Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. It turned a blind eye to it. Although I think steroids use is wrong, I do believe in giving people a second chance. And I also believe that with or without steroids, Era would have made it to the Hall of Fame. He still has another decade of baseball to play. And when it's all said and done, I would vote him into the Hall of Fame. I know personally while watching the interview, I was a little sad. And I thought A-Rod was one of the last ones left, to be honest about the whole thing. But hey, you know, hopefully he ends up making it into the uh, Hall of Fame because he's definitely worthy. Thanks for coming in and discussing some hot topics in sports, guys. We'll see y'all later on in the season. Well, it's time for another commercial break, but when we come back, I'll be showcasing my dancing skills. Stay tuned. You're watching Sports Showtime. Welcome back into Sports Showtime. We all enjoyed Brian showing his singing talents earlier on in the show when he wrapped our intro. However, the population of female voters on our website wanted to see more. 
Due to a late surge in votes, we had a tie atop the poll. And because we are all for giving the people what they want, Brian will also be showing his dancing talents during the credits when he dances to the thriller. Well, that's going to do it here for us at Sports Showtime. You can catch the rebroadcast on the, of this show on Tiger TV tonight at 6.30 and 10.30. Or if you're off campus, you can catch the rebroadcast on Cox Channel 4 at 11.30 and WBTR Channel 19 at midnight. You can also check us out on, online at www.tigertv.tv. From all of us here at Sports Showtime, have a great day and enjoy Brian dancing to the thriller. Into the liveish game coverage around Saw an LSU sports, showtime in the towns Get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track Key in on the field when them Tigers attack In fact, you get it back a few times a week But it starts on Tuesday